Well, I was looking for a uh, decent picture of uh, my uh, Momorita. Uh, my uh, Momorita is on the uh, right. Um, holding me when I was a baby, I believe it is. Um, even though I would like a wish a recipe to my auntie on the left as well. A lady who I wish I could have been more nice to as well. But uh, this is uh, a story that uh, I've been... This is something that I've been wanting to talk about for quite a while because, uh, you know, it's uh, quite sad. But, uh, you know, you know, stuff happens is all I could say. Uh, well, I uh, recently found out on uh, September 27th of this year, uh, my mama Rita uh, has passed away. Um... All I can say about uh, Mama is, uh, you know, I am sad that she uh, is gone, but, um, um, you know, I'm sad that she's uh, gone, but you got to understand something, is the reason why I'm not going to cry, or at least not right now, is because, um, you know, Mama... Uh, I'm so happy and so blessed to have known her for almost 30 years. Uh, you know, uh, there's this uh, thing that I have uh, framed with the picture of uh, Mama. And basically, uh, it was just something that I said that was on my mind about Mama. And uh, it was uh, quite popular with the uh, Valutas family that my Uncle Tony sent me a uh, frame of it. Which I want to thank my Uncle Tony for doing so. Uh but, you know, I want to say thank you to my Uncle Tony and my Aunt Kathy in particular for helping my mama because, uh, you know, they didn't have to. But, you know, I know especially Uncle Tony, you know, he loves his mom that, of course, uh, he would help her. And, you know, I could say the same thing about, you know, Uncle Steve is uh, he loved his mom, my uh, mama, uh, you know, uh, when he would uh, visit along with my uh, cousins from uh, Texas, uh, it was always nice to see him and, and the boys uh, that are now a grown men. And uh, my cousins have grown up to be uh, quite fine young men, too. Uh, they're, I, I'm really proud of them, and I'm really happy for them that things are going great, you know. And I just wish them the best is all I can say. But what can I say about MoMA? So that uh, when people uh, think about her, you know, they'll say, you know, when I think about, you know, Paul's grandmother, Rita Mae Kilgore, I think about, you know, this, you know. Well, I mean, what can I say? You know, she was uh, such a wonderful person. She was a great lady. Uh, just, I remember I used to love going over to her house because her house was home away from home. Um, hey, you know, uh, I don't want this to be a sad sob story or anything, but, you know, I had, uh, quite a childhood that, uh, Mama's house is where I really got to be a kid, even though I could be, I was a brat when I was younger too, you know, but, you know, Mama, you know, she loved her grandchildren just like she loved her three sons, and all I could say is, is, you know, one of my uh, all-time favorite things about Rita Mae Kilgore, a.k.a. MoMA, is when she became MoMA for the very first time. Uh, who was the uh, firstborn Valutas that uh, officially became, Rita Mae Kilgore officially became MoMA? I believe it was my cousin Jason, but uh, yeah, you know. Uh, when my cousin Jason was born, that was when Mama became a grandma for the first time. And it was just like, ah, you know, just really exciting, you know, for her that was. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, what was that thing I wanted to talk about? Oh, yeah. Um, when I went to work today, I was uh, reading about uh, my Mama. Uh, this little uh, booklet that I got at MoMA's m memorial service. Um, I absolutely enjoy it. Uh, I read it. 
uh, whenever I get a chance. I love to read it because I, I get a chance to learn a little bit more about, you know, my grandmother, Mama. And something that was really crazy that I found out was when Mama was a little girl, she was very skinny. Uh, that the doctor said that she needs to gain weight or she's going to die. And my great-grandmother, who of course was Mama's mother, was uh, crying. And, you know, Mama was just, you know, sitting down next to her mom and just like, you know, Mom, what's the matter, you know? And, uh, you know, she found out, you know, um, it was uh, quite a life, you know, Mama had, you know. I remember in the book, you know, actually when I got the book, my Uncle Steve said that if you think you have it bad, uh, read this book because, you know, Mama, you know, had quite a life, uh, but, you know, like I said, you know, I'm very honored and very blessed to have known her, you know, just she was, you know, there was something really, really special about her. And, uh, you know, just, um. I don't know uh, what Mama's last thoughts were before she uh, passed away, but I know that uh, she died fighting for her life, and, um, you know, um, when I think about the fact that Mama's gone, you know, I think about that, you know, I wish I could have been a better grandson, but, you know, at the same time, I think, you know, that I know that no matter what, she loved me, you know, and, um, she worried about me all the time, and, um, it's always nice to have somebody that loves you, you know. I don't know, um, I don't know how much, uh, great things, I don't know how many nice things I said about Moma, because... You know, I'm just uh, speechless because I don't know what to say about the fact that a lady that I loved very, very much, like a second mom, is gone. But uh, I'm going to uh, close this uh, video by uh, reading what I wrote in uh, Mama's obituary, obituary, I think it was. But um, let's see. And I'm going to, no, I'm just going to read it to you guys. Come on, turn the page. Okay, here we go. Oh, no, this is not it. Sorry, guys, I uh, thought I could find it right away, but I'm going to find it. Okay, here it is. Uh, who, uh, typed this, by the way? I want to say thank you for the booklet, but I want to say thank you to everybody. I want to say thank you, Uncle Steve, Uncle Tony, uh, Aunt Kathy, Aunt Cecilia. Thank you so much, Jason, Mark, and Steve. I love you guys. And I want to say I'm sorry for what a pain in the butt I was when I was little or younger, you know. Um, I want to say thank you to everybody, you know. Uh, that ha that uh, took part in everything that happened for MoMA's, uh, you know, memorial service. It was definitely beautiful. Uh, I want to thank, uh, you know, the guy who said a prayer in honor of MoMA. I really appreciated it. It was so nice of him. And, uh, you know, he gave me a hug, which was also nice. Uh, you know, I don't mind giving people a hug as long as they're not awkward about it. Because you know how some people, they want to give you a hug, but uh, they want to be awkward about it. You know, like, uh, I'll, I'll talk about that some other time. But uh, anyways, that, if I missed anybody, I want to let you know I'm sorry and I love you. I mean all well. Just thank you guys so much, everybody that took part. But anyways, here is uh, my uh, uh, message that I wrote on Mama's obituary. 
But first it says, uh, Paul Valutis described his love and admiration for MoMA in his own words. Thank you from all of us. And I want to say from the bottom of my heart that you guys are most welcome. You're very welcome. Okay, here we go. I found out September 27, 2015 that Grandma Rita, a.k.a. MoMA, has passed away. MoMA was a sweet, generous, loving person who would give someone her last dollar if she could. She was a second mom to me, and I can't put it to words how much I loved her. All I could say is she will always be in my heart and soul, and how beautiful she was even before she died will be in my mind forever. My MoMA was a tough lady, and I know she died fighting. I am so blessed to have known her for almost 30 years. I haven't got to visit her a year before she died, but I know in my heart she still loves me as well as her three sons and grandchildren. MoMA... I love you, your spirit now shines in heaven, and when I die and see you again someday, I hope heaven looks like MoMA's house before Hurricane Katrina. I love you, MoMA, and just, just know how much, you know, I love you and I miss you. And uh, it also says, we appreciate, you, we all appreciate your words. Again, thank you from all of us, and again, I want to say thank you. And I also want to say thank you to everybody who uh, watched this video because this video is very, very special to me, just like uh, MoMA was special to me. Uh, this is a very beautiful picture nonetheless.